Well, as I've said several times, that, that the future is sustainable development and is landscapes. And frankly, that's going to be a five to seven trillion dollar, five to seven trillion dollar investment space within 10 to 15 years. Um, every bank, every institutional investor um, is now turning its attention to this space. Well, the impetus for the interest rising is that one, I don't think green, green is a term of risk anymore. Green is a term of necessity. Um, the, the, you know, the fact that all those countries signed up, the fact that we've got, we've got fossil fuel uh, people talking about what happens to them in 15 years time, um, you know, the fact that the climate deniers are now, are now off the landscape, um, um, the fact that we can get a good return uh, an acceptable return uh, out, of, out of green bonds, the fact that, you know, that the money is there, the fact that we're in a low interest rate environment, all these things play to the point. How do we get this large bulk of money that's available looking for a return to trickle down into the people that, that, to whom it affects? That's the, the small, uh, you know, the small holders, the small palm oil producer, the person who lives in the Indonesian forest? How do we sort of deal with the, with the people that are part and parcel of the landscape in an equitable way to deal with the responsibility that they have uh, to their family, the responsibility they have to the environment, the responsibility they have to the wider community? That's the problem. How do we deal with this at scale? And I think that's the, that's the challenge uh, you know, everywhere. you've got government attention now in terms of what you're doing, you're actually raising the debate and you're trying to actually set up, you know, people to work together uh, in terms of solving some of these problems, particularly the micro problems. And I have to tell you that, that, that problems are not solved just by today. Problems are solved by the people continuing a dialogue in terms of what happens from today. I think what I'm looking for today is a sense of real momentum um, because like in every issue where you're dealing with change, momentum is what really drives a result.